This is Admiral Charles Decker. Stand by for authentication of your Jasmine transmission. Authentication is Alpha Niner Zero, Niner Tango Four, Eight Hotel Sierra. Yeah, I assume that is correct. I assume that is correct. Given the Jasmine coding for this transmission, I assume that this is the Lexington. You've been out of touch for quite some time. Since our last communication with you, we've come across a potential threat to the success of the mission. I need to talk to Captain Dana right away. I'm afraid he's dead. So is the rest of the crew. I'll fill you in on what's happened. Hell, Lieutenant. The situation couldn't be much worse. At least the Dharma was destroyed and the Lexington is back in action. There is a chance that I can continue the mission. Well, Dana did the only thing he could have. Some hope is better than none. But this... This isn't even a long shot. You have no idea what you're up against. Uh... I think the best thing you can do is take the Lexington out to a safe place, perhaps a few hundred thousand kilometers away from Persephone, and wait for reinforcements. So there are reinforcements on their way. Another expedition is now on its way. With the need for secrecy gone, we could gear up the whole damn fleet for this one. The heavy cruisers Midway, Iwo Jima, and Tarawa have already departed. They are being escorted by one of the Lexington sister ships, the Concord, and a squadron of destroyers. There might be more UN ships on the way. We may not have four months to wait for another expedition. Well, Lieutenant, that's just the problem. We know for a fact that there are more UN ships on their way. Oh, a wait. battle group of frigates, destroyers, maybe even a cruiser or two. They could show up any time now. How can I fight back? You can't, really. You have half the normal complement of active battle drones. The Lexington has sustained serious damage. You have no combat experience. There are no other crew members to help you with weapons control, damage control, navigation, engineering, or anything else. Need I go on? We have to think of a way. The crews of the Lexington and the Jericho died to give me a shot at this. You need to tell me about how to get the weapon systems online. What I'm going to tell you is how to steer that ship to a point 250,000 kilometers outside the plane of the ecliptic so you can stay out of danger. I have an obligation to Captain Dana and the crew of the two ships. I can't just give up. I am giving you a direct order to take the Lexington out of danger. And I'm respectfully declining to obey. I'm going to stay and fight. Who the hell do you think you are? Yeah. Um, Who gave you the authority to disobey a U.S. Navy fleet admiral in a time of war? Because I'm here and you're not, mother. Captain Dana did, sir, and his authority and trust are what count right now. Captain Dana didn't tell you to disobey orders. Eh, more or less. He was counting on me to finish the mission. I'm going to do it, or die trying. Okay, Lieutenant. If I can't order you to pull out, maybe I can reason with you. You need to understand why playing hero isn't going to help anybody. All you'll do is get yourself killed. You also need to understand why there is no way you can successfully complete the mission. Let's talk about our options here. You could start by telling me about the mission. Yeah, that'd be 18 nice. months ago, one of our unmanned IX probes was mapping new jump points around the star Omicron Eridani. The probe found a jump point that took it 68 light years away from Earth to an unexplored star system with seven planets. The probe began a routine orbital survey of the planets, and then abruptly returned to known space years before its mission was scheduled to end. 
When the probe got within range of a tachyon relay beacon, it sent home a series of burst transmissions describing an anomaly under the surface of the sixth planet. The probe scanners had found a huge metal structure that could only be the result of intelligent construction. Now, the Alliance was keenly aware of the implications. This discovery was strong evidence for the existence of alien intelligence. The potential existed for finding advanced technology or a spacefaring alien civilization at the site. The results could tilt the balance of power in the war with the UN. Preparations for an expedition to the mysterious planet, now called Persephone, were started in the utmost secrecy. Finally, four months ago, the Lexington and the USS Jericho departed for Persephone from the Eisenhower orbital docks around Titan. The only people on the two ships who knew the true nature of the mission were Captain Dana, Captain McCain, and Lieutenant Commander Tran. Okay, well, now I need to know. So what was the purpose of the expedition? What are the mission objectives? The Jericho was outfitted with an array of sensors and special instruments to be used to gather data on the alien installation. She is also carrying a planetary lander, adapted specifically for the harsh conditions on Persephone. Captain McCain was going to use the lander to go down to the surface of Persephone with a team of scientists. Now these are the mission goals. To land on Persephone and okay. see if the builders of the installation are still around. If so, initiate first contact and establish a basis for ongoing communication. If not, explore and gather data on the installation and attempt to find out if there is any exploitable technology. Gather samples as well. and return to Earth with the information. Were any more signs of ET activity discovered? None. The installation on Persephone is it, as far as I know. Why the Lexington? The Lexington was the logical choice as an escort for a number of reasons. She was a combat-tested ship. With perhaps the finest captain and crew in the fleet. She's one of the fastest ships we have. She had also been outfitted with an experimental new weapons control system. Tell me about the new weapons system. Don't get any ideas, Lieutenant. Just tell me about the system. The system is a prototype. The first of its kind. It has not been battle tested. It also has some serious operational flaws. The purpose of the system is to put humans back in the loop during combat. The system has two components. A neural link from the operator to the ship's main computer, and a drug that actually acts on the brain to allow a direct interface with the computer. The drug speeds up certain brain functions to allow real-time control of weapons during ship-to-ship -ship combat. Sounds promising. Why is a link needed? As you know, up to now, combat has happened much too fast to be managed by human beings. Battles in space have been resolved by unmanned autonomous drones that can accelerate at 100 gravities, turn on a dime, and deliver a serious load of ordnance on target. These drones are equipped with smart computer systems capable of assimilating data and executing complicated strategies in the blink of an eye. The drones are carried aboard starships, crewed by people who make the initial decisions about how to arm and deploy the drones. Once released, the drones are pretty much on their own. For the last 10 years of the war, there's been a race on both sides to improve the battle management software that runs on the drone computer hardware. A group of Alliance techies in Singapore decided that if it were at all possible to speed up human reaction times, a human brain in the loop could give one side a tremendous advantage in battle. Okay, sounds good. You would have to speed up thought processing and reaction times by orders of magnitude. You're correct, Lieutenant. The solution was a drug called Hype. 
Hype okay. is actually a concoction of neurotransmitter chemicals, micro machines, and genetically micro -machines. viruses. This stuff actually gotta rewires find the micro -machines. your brain to make it faster and more efficient. Well, faster and more efficient for the purposes of managing a ship to ship encounter in real time. The drug also creates the nerve pathways to the forebrain needed for a direct neural link to the computer. Are the changes reversible? Now that is one of the problems with the whole system. No, the changes aren't reversible. But at this point, it doesn't even matter that they aren't reversible. What do you mean? The drug has a nasty side effect. The modifications hype makes to the brain begin decaying after a few days. The results include loss of faculties, hallucinations, wild emotional swings, dementia, and finally, inevitably, death. Yeek. But does the whole system work for the week that you can function without impairment? Two test subjects volunteered to try it. Both were able to outthink and outfight the best battle management algorithms in simulated encounters between equal forces of evenly matched drones. Okay. The combination of the human brain, the central computer, and the battle management software on the drones seems to convey a significant advantage in combat. Why did you deploy a prototype before operational testing? As you know, the war isn't really going our way. At some point, we realized that we might that. have to deploy the hype system, even though it is still an early prototype. We knew we would have to begin recruiting volunteers to operate the system in battle, over the objections of many principal naval officers. I didn't know the war was going badly. What's happening? The conflict has turned into a war of attrition. The UN has more resources and more production capacity than we do. Uh -huh. They can outproduce us 10 to 1. We have a technological edge, but we are being slowly beaten into the ground. <laughs> How long do we have? If things continue at the current pace, we'll lose the war within five years. Does the UN have an equivalent weapon system? UN doesn't have anything like the hype system. Hype. The new weapon system sounds like the answer to my problem. If it really provides such a significant advantage, I can take the UN commanders by surprise. They won't even be expecting a fight. Don't even Besides, I have no intention of giving you the release code you'll need to activate the system. Would you rather see me die with no chance at all? God damn it, Lieutenant. You are an irrational, insubordinate, stubborn son of a bitch. I am. I don't know how you got past the damn psych profiles. God. I think my irrational, insubordinate, stubborn streak is why Dana picked me to finish this mission, even though I have no combat experience or piloting skills. Let's work on the other seemingly intractable problem for a moment. I'm a thousand meters away from the Jericho and the lander. I need to get to the lander. Lieutenant, you aren't going anywhere without the intership shuttle. You already told me that you barely had enough oxygen to conduct the EVA to fix the comm system. Is there any way for me to get from one ship to the other? I don't know of any way to cross between the ships without an EVA maneuvering suit. Can I dock the ships together? No, I don't think so. Can I bring the lander to the Lexington? Well, if the Jericho's computer was slave to that of the Lexington's, you might be able to jack into the lander's onboard computer and deploy it remotely. Then you could fly it over to the Lexington via the uplink. Well, it's a start. I think you can see a plan forming here. How about the release codes? You win, Lieutenant. Yes, I win! By God, I would court-martial you and have you shot if you actually could make it back. 
but good luck and Godspeed, son. If you do manage to pull this off, the Alliance and potentially all of humanity will be in your debt. Stand by for a data transmission with the information you'll need about Hype and the weapon systems. Decker out. Okay, the weapons release code and the optimization for Hype system. Okay. Oh wait. Does that mean I need to connect to the using homing beacon. Pressure the shuttle bay, open bay doors. Deploy. Beacon is located, I'm assuming, in the shuttle bay. What deck was that? Six? Either six or five, I think it was six. Deck six. storage cabinet. Oh, hello. I, I would like it all, please. Ooh, shoot. A probe launcher. We'll just take it. What is this? Seismic probe? Ooh, there's storage cabinets. Ooh, oxygen tanks. Yes, please. Reach for the controls and then pause. How is the planetary lander going to fly through the Lexington's massive shuttle bay doors if they aren't open? Oh, okay. 
So am I going to the, I think I'm going to the, either the planet's surface or the Jericho. I have oxygen now. Okay, so what I need to do is, all right, control room, closed door. Open the shuttle bay doors. controls and you find that they are locked out. It used to be to manually shut down onboard systems and bring them back up again, something that worked. Okay. You trip a row of breaker switches and the system power down and you reactivate them. Lengthy pre-flight checklist performing a low-level diagnostic on every single lander. Oh boy. Okay. So what now? the shuttle bay doors. Computer? Yes. I'm done. Access. So while that's running, what am I supposed to do? Deck one. Okay. Computer? Yes. Are you? Yes. I General? Ask a I'm done. Acknow. Give what system? Weapons. Please specify. Tell me about the Hype Telecon system. All information about the Hype Telecon system is classified as Top Secret Omega. Because you are now the Acting Commanding Officer of the Lexington, and have a current SSBI and Top Secret clearance, I am now temporarily upgrading your clearance. Oh, thank you. Until such time as a Senior Officer assumes command of the Lexington, in accordance with OpnaVinst 5510.1 and ASOC DSO OPSEC guidelines, Section 72, you now have access to compartmentalized information designated as Top Secret Omega, Gamma, and Delta. You heard Decker warn me about approaching enemy ships. What are my odds? Without the Hype Telecon system, your chances of surviving an encounter with anything bigger than a small destroyer are very slim. 
I distinctly heard him mention destroyers and cruisers. Your options seem limited. You're very encouraging. You asked. <laughs> nice. I'm on the bridge. Now help me activate the Hype Telecon system. Use the tactical screens and controls to initialize the Hype Telecon system. Tell me about the system. How do I actually work the Hype Telecon system once I'm in? I will help you learn how to use the system once you have followed the startup sequence and jacked into the bridge tactical console. It would be pointless to try and cover all of the operational details until such time. Can't you just do it for me? You must be at the bridge console. I'm done. Acknowledge. I'm done. Accept. Hype Telecon This automated checklist has been prepared. Please stand by while the TX-15 Block 2 software upgrade runs a self-diagnostic to ensure proper operation. Thank you. Hype Telecon Checklist Step 1. Manually reprogram all RC-09 battle drones to be used with the Hype Telecon system. Okay. Use the arming console in each of the weapons bays to activate drones in storage. Program their onboard computers for telecon operation, load them on the launcher, and hand them off to the main computer. The Hype Telecon program is coded as 180 in the Armor Servo Mech data store. Step 1 has not been completed. No drones are available for telecon operation. Hype Telecon system initialization terminated. I thought I did that. Weapons bay. They're sitting here. Already programmed. Oh, I got a hand each of them off. Okay. Well, great. Oh, so that's all I had to do? I could have done it in one system, and if I would hit activate on those three... That would have saved you some time. That's irritating. So now all the drones are activated. What have dog? Deck one. <laughs> Hype Telecom. Hype tele Step one has been completed successfully. Yes. At least one drone is now available for telecon operation. Step two. Initialize the Hype Telecon software, enter the release codes, and plug in the Telecon Man Machine Interface, or Telecon MMI. You will recognize the Telecon MMI as a pair of outsized goggles with a cable terminating in a standard bus connector. Step two has not been completed. The MMI unit is not responding. Please check all cable connections and... Uh, okay. Put on. Hype telecom. Step one. Step two. Initialize the hype telecom. Step two has not been completed. The MMI unit is not responding. Please check all cable... Okay. 
Pipe t Step Step 2. Step 2 has been completed successfully. The main computer and the MMI unit are now ready for telecon operations. Step 3. After briefing the operator on the risks and side effects associated with a hype telecon system, prepare an 18 milliliter dose of hype in a glucose suspension. Inject the operator with a hype dosage. Wait 30 minutes. Do not be alarmed by side effects, which may include temporary nausea, acute pain, and dizziness. Oh. When operator is ready, place MMI unit on head. Step three has not been completed. Operator does not have necessary neural pathways and brain structures in place for hype telecon operation. Operator. Okay. Uh, now I need to shoot up. I feel like this is like the point of no return. You roll up one of your sleeves and gently put the needle into one of your veins. On the inside of your arm, the hypo dispenses the serum from an impule, a burning sensation. A few seconds later, you are sicker than you have ever been in your entire life. Take several minutes for the clouds of pain to recede enough. Oh God. Pipe telecom. Step. Step two. Step three. Hype telecom system now coming online. Okay. Stand by. Oh. Okay. Let's see if you can hear it or interface neural link telecom. Oh. Training simulation must be completed before my telecom system will attain. <laughs> Fundamentals. Okay. Attack drone. Fighter drone. Bomber. Bomber drone. Well, we have a frigate, but there's no enemy drones and no current fighter. Well, let's see what happens. Deploying. Alpha. Tracking target. India. Tracking target. Foxtrot. In formation. Foxtrot. Waypoint set. All enemy drones have been destroyed. Can I just, like, select everybody? Bravo. In formation. Oh, hello. Charlie. In formation. Delta. In formation. Echo. In formation. Foxtrot. Tracking target. So everybody's in formation now. All enemy ships have been destroyed. Okay, missile defense. Okay. Deploying. Alpha. In formation. Charlie. In formation. India information hotel information box information echo information golf information bravo information delta tracking target
Bravo. Tracking target. Delta. Tracking target. All enemy Heavy drones target has been destroyed. Okay. Charlie. Waypoint set. Delta. Waypoint set. All enemy ships have been destroyed. Okay, I'm understanding it a little bit better now. Line of sight. Attack drone. I think I'm gonna go with another attack drone here. How do I... Deploying. Alpha. In formation. Bravo. In formation. Charlie. In formation. Delta. In formation. Echo. In formation. Foxtrot. In formation. Golf. In formation. Hotel. Holding position. Hotel. Holding position. Hotel. In formation. India. In formation. Alpha. Tracking target. Golf. Tracking target destroyed. Oh. Crap. All enemy ships have been destroyed. Well, Lexington almost didn't make it on that one, but at least they took them out. All right. Oh, formations. Waves of attackers that are bunched up in groups to deal with enemies and formations. You must build formations of your own. Create a formation by selecting drones and assign them to the form formation leader of your choosing. Okay, so it doesn't tell me how. Deploying. Okay. Oh, wow. Echo. In formation. Alpha. Holding position. Alpha. Holding position. Bravo. In formation. Charlie. In formation. Delta. In formation. Hotel. In formation. India. In formation. Alpha. Tracking target. Ooh. Okay, so we lost that one hard. Deploying. Alpha. In formation. Alpha. In formation. Charlie. In formation. Bravo. In formation. Delta. In formation. Echo. In formation. Fox. In formation. Golf. In formation. Hotel. In formation. India. In formation. All right, Alpha. Alpha. Tracking target. Delta. Tracking target. 
All enemy drones have been destroyed. Well, I've lost all my drones, but these ships aren't looking all that great compared to the Lexington. Heavy target destroyed. Oh, I love how the missiles just kind of switch. Heavy target destroyed. Oh, God. <laughs> so they still killed us. Okay. Deploying. Now, uh, let's turn it down a little bit. Bravo. Information. Charlie. Information. Delta. Information. Echo. Information. Foxtrot. Information. Golf. Information. Hotel. Information. Hotel. Holding position. Hotel. Information. India. Information. Okay. Alpha. Tracking target. <laughs> All enemy ships have been destroyed. Concentration of force. Deploying. Bravo. Information. Charlie. Information. Delta. Information. Foxtrot. Information. Echo. Information. Golf. Information. Hotel. Information. India. Information. Alpha. Tracking target. Wait, what? Deploying. Alpha. Information. Alpha. Information. Alpha. Information. Bravo. Holding position. Charlie. Information. Delta. Information. Echo. Information. Foxtrot. Information. Golf. Information. Hotel. Information. India. Information. Bravo. Tracking target. Oh, there's another ship. I didn't realize that. Alpha. Tracking target. Foxtrot. Tracking target. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, let's. Lexington's taking a beating here, so let's. India, tracking target. All enemy drones, drones have been destroyed. Okay. Charlie, tracking target. 
Information Charlie Information Delta Information Echo Information Fox Information Bravo Tracking Target Golf Information Hotel Information Delta Waypoint set Delta Heavy target destroyed God damn it Okay, so if we If we guard Attack drone Deploying. So let's. Alpha holding position. So let's guard and see what happens here. Yeah, that did not actually work at all. Period. Okay. Deploying. Okay. So Alpha, let's... information, Charlie, information, Delta, information, Foxtrot. information, Golf. information, hotel, information, India, information. Okay, so we have Bravo. 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 Waypoint set. Echo. Waypoint set. So we're gonna move and guard. Bravo. Waypoint set. Bravo. 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 Tracking target. Echo Tracking target Alright, so dividing and conquering is not the way to go Foxtrot Disengaging yeah, obviously that's not the way to go. I don't. Okay. Bomber drone deploying. Information. Bravo. Information. Charlie. Information. Delta. Information. Echo. Information. Foxtrot. Information. Golf. Information. Hotel. Information. India. Tracking target. India. Tracking target. Charlie. Tracking target. India. Tracking target. 
Damn it. Okay, I got this. I got this. Deploying. Alpha. In formation. Bravo. In formation. Charlie. In formation. Delta. In formation. Echo. In formation. Foxtrot. In formation. Golf. In formation. Hotel. In formation. India. Tracking target. India. Waypoint set. It goes too fast. Like, if I leave it going too fast, it's like... Deploying. Like, as soon as you slow it down, it's just like... A slog, though. Alpha. In formation. Alpha. Charlie. In formation. Charlie. In formation. Delta. Holding position. Delta. Holding position. Delta. In formation. Echo. In formation. Fox In formation. Golf. In formation. Hotel. In formation. India. In formation. Bravo. Waypoint set. Bravo. Tracking target. Waypoint set. Bravo. Tracking target. Bravo. Tracking target. Come on, baby. Echo. Tracking target. Drones Echo. have been destroyed. Heavy target destroyed. Tracking target. Charlie. Tracking target. God, I don't... Still don't know if we're going to make it. It looks like these missiles are... Target destroyed. Charlie. Waypoint set. All enemy ships have been destroyed. Oh, good. Okay, finally. Take the